Welcome to the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series race at Daytona for the Coca-Cola Zero 400. The racetrack for the Daytona 500. Where's the Coca-Cola 500? I mean, it's the Coca-Cola 400. Does that make it not as good? It's good thing the Daytona 500 doesn't have a fancy little, like, company sponsoring it. By the way, Daytona, the biggest track of NASCAR. I say biggest, most important. Jimmy Johnson, first number 48, Lowe's. Second, Alex Bowman, number 23, Dr. Pepper. Third, Casey Mears, number 13, Geico. And fourth, Carl Edwards, number 99. Fast and all. I opted to qualify 12. Uh, you know, give me more of a challenge, see if I can pull it to the front. Um, no, but it's good that they don't have the Daytona 500 have a big fancy sponsor. I'm assuming they can make like a billion dollars off of that one name because they're really like Daytona 500 will sponsor. That's like saying, here you go, you can sponsor the Super Bowl. And I felt we had so much money from doing that. Or like if FIFA had the World Cup have an official like company. Like if the NFL had to be called it the Gatorade Super Bowl. They make so much money off of that. Same if FIFA had the World Cup. The McDonald's World Cup or something. That would be so much money they could get off of that. So not really that big of a wreck for where it happened, the high side of the track. You would have typically thought the cars would came down and rammed right inside of it. But uh, nothing really happened major there. Who has the lead? Jimmy Johnson and Casey Mears both on the front. Uh, so let's see who can win this race. I mean, this here could be fun. David Rudiman right next to me. Larson and Hamlin next to each other battling for this. But, oh, now I'm next to David Reagan. Oh, up into the wall, Reagan goes. Smashes Vickers, smashes everybody. And uh, we're sort of the fall behind group. Waiting to see what happens up front. Johnson and his um, friend Casey Mears. Hamlin is the next card to be gaining on me. The only NASCAR rookie to make the chase. Since the chase obviously came into effect. In 2004. So the changing years of the chase. Where there was actually a cutoff to try to win the championship. And Denny Hamlin has been the only rookie to be in it. Kyle Larson was only 16 points away from doing it. Just yesterday. Or when you're watching this, Richmond 2014. But from when I recorded this, it was yesterday. I was not happy. Because Kyle Larson being my favorite driver, obviously, you're not going to be happy about that. My other driver that I like, Tony Stewart, who used my favorite driver, until Kyle Larson this year. Um, isn't in the championship either. Well, he was out for a while, obviously missing the thing. So two drivers, actually, all the drivers here in the top 16. Nope, nope, no, nope, I take the back. 15 of the top 16. So from 1st to 15th, all of them don't have a win. Brad Kozlowski, Kevin Harvey, Denny Patrick, Jamie McMurray, Martin Truex Jr., Landon Castle, Michael Waltrip, Austin Dillon, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Jimmy Johnson, Parker Clearman, Casey Mears, AJ Allmendinger, Joni Machek, and Michael Annette all don't have a win. Marcus Ambrose has won. I'm the 29th. What can I do? How can I spoil the race for everybody else? This here is one of those wild card tracks. Anybody, at any time, can win Daytona and Talladega. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. 
like this year we've seen it at Daytona 500. It wasn't really a wild card race, and uh, Jalen Hart Jr. won that. We went to Daytona later this year for the second time for this race that I'm running right now, and Eric Almarola won it. And uh, we go. We went to Talladega for the first time this season, and um, Denny Hamlin won. Didn't really make that a wild card race either. Looking for 29 to the back. Yeah. Am I the caution car yet again? I am. Look at that. Bouncing through the traffic. Look at me. Look at how I slide sideways, though. Actually, my back wheels were locked up. And I must have just been turning it. And that's why my car just kept going in circles. Because I, I was turning it, but I didn't know that I turned it. I thought that the... I thought that I didn't have enough power to turn anymore, but uh, I apparently did. So. Kevin Harvick still trying to be that wild card car. But so in Casey Mears. Um, also this year we've seen, um, Denoma was technically, it could be a wild card thing, because you don't really expect Carl Edwards to win at a road course. Typically you expect Jeff Gordon, or some road course specialist, which typically doesn't. And speaking of road course specialists, that was the wild card race this year at Watkins Glen. When I say this year, I mean, real, when I say this season, I mean this video series. So, this this year, um, AJ Allmendinger won. Over to block Yannicka Patrick. Oh! Me and Yannicka both go for a hard smash into the inside wall. Who was technically the caution car? I was. How come I keep being the caution car? I went over to block and just wrecked the wall. She just like, eh, it's a wall. I like hitting walls. I'm getting catching. Yeah. And she hit the wall. She's good at doing that. Casey Mears has the lead. Is he in a pit though? He's not. So Casey Mears or Austin Dillon could technically get this win. I don't like this Axe Piece car. I mean, I like the idea of the Axe World Peace idea thing, but Axe Peace car, seriously, there's Danica Patrick, though. She's right there. She's like, is there another wall I can hit? No, Danica. You've hit too many walls today. You see when she wrecks during a regular, like, year, during the year, she will take her hands off the wheel. Which is good. I mean, if your car is spinning that fast, your wheel turning like that in a wreck... You could definitely get your arm broken if you hold on to it and try to fight it. Me and Kent getting that side draft for 42nd and 43rd. I think this battle for 42nd and 43rd is more intense than the battle for first. Ooh. They're both beating and banging for last place. I don't want to be last. You be last. So now we can wreck each other. I was waiting until they crossed the line before I wrecked him. Oh, if David Rudiman seriously wins that race. Casey Mears still has a shot at it, though. I want Casey Mears to win. That's why I brought up that last caution. I want Casey Mears to win. Alex Bowen, if you win, I am... I hate you. Michael McDowell, if you win. Alex Bowman, so they're going for the win right now. Alex Bowman. Alex Bowman won. What the hell? Casey Mears was supposed to win. I quit. Alex Bowman won. Oh my gosh.
Let's view the results. See where Casey Mears ended up finishing. Alright. I'm at the back, though. Casey Mears was 12th. Paul Menard. So that puts Alex Bowman in the chase. Casey Mears had the most laps led during this race. Kevin Hyrick, Austin Dillon there. Season doesn't keep going good for them. Eric Almarola. Sort of the 2013 Spring Cup season with Ford. Most road course wins goes to Jeff Gordon. Ween Pueblo Mean Toya does not have that many. Ween Pueblo. Nationwide, Kenny Wallace. So I lose two positions yet again with that horrible performance. Only nine points out of first. So I have one win. Kurt Busch has two. Marcus Ambrose has two. Jeff Gordon has one. Tony Stewart has one. Casey Kane has two. Dylan Hart Jr. has one. Clint Boyer has one. Cole Witt has one. And Alex Bowman, who is not in the chase with that win. He must have another good performance that put him up here. He cannot be 32nd to be in the chase. I guess being past 30th, I guess you're considered you don't do good enough. Denny Patrick obviously is never going to be in the chase then. I guess it's good Casey Mears didn't get the win because then he would have even more to do. Michael Annette, if he won. Uh, either way. So we have a couple more races this season uh, that I'm going to do before I end for the day. Going back to that regular red paint scheme uh, for New Hampshire. And then Indianapolis. So it says it's the 22nd event. But we go to the season standings. And it's only the 20th event. The reason for that is because <laughs> here it goes by races. The other one goes by events that you do. And you do... 38 events. You do the Budweiser shootout things, but they're not called the Bud Shootout. Uh, because that's this game. Actually, they don't have the Bud Shootout in this. I don't know why they don't have the Bud Shootout. The Bud Shootout is like a pre Daytona 500. You've got the Daytona Duels that you do. So you do the Duel at Daytona, the Sprint to Unlimited, and do the Sprint All Star Race. So non-point awarding races don't count. So here's what happens. Here's how the rest of the season looks. We go from New Hampshire for race 19. Race 20 is Indianapolis. Race 21 is Pocono. Race 22 is Watkins Glen. 23 Michigan. 24 Bristol. 25 Atlanta. And 26 is Richmond where we end the season. And then we head to Chicago. Land for the other thing, the chase. There's only a couple of races before the chase. And who gets the win at these few more tracks will decide who's in and who's out in the chase. Richmond's really one of those key deciding tracks, though. Some drivers on edge right there, and uh, that can make this interesting. But New Hampshire. I'm going to opt to qualify 12 also, so after I do f 5 minutes of racing there, I'm going to do it, so. See you at New